Hello and welcome, I am the Trunkleton and today in this video we will be looking at Goblin Slayer Nendoroid 1042 with the American 1042 <laughs> and uh, I absolutely adore this anime, it's the reason I pre-ordered this, this Nendoroid, I never normally pre-order order Nendoroids other than the Pokemon ones but I wanted to pre-order this one Right now, I think the only other Nendoroid I would be pre-ordering would be uh, Dr. Stone, Senku from Dr. Stone. But, yeah, I absolutely adore this anime. <laughs> from the very first scene to the last, it was a really nice anime. And that opening scene was insane. <laughs> we have a goblin here, which comes with this. I don't have the LED light for the eye. Unfortunately, I might be able to get one in Japan without I go in just over a week, so we'll see if I can find that. But overall, this is what it looked like with the LED. I really want it. I should have pre-ordered it, but I didn't. <laughs> it's quite expensive for just an LED. I could possibly make my own. It wouldn't be too much, just an, uh, a red LED and a, a few batteries would work. It's not so bad. So we look at it overall. Official Nendoroid circle sticker, and this one hasn't been stuck on properly. I <laughs> don't know why. The uh, Goblin Slayer logo. And then it has it in English here, product number. And then the, the number 1042. Goblin Slayer in English and Japanese. I think they designed this box on purpose to be both for the Japanese and for the, the Western and the western market so the local distributor here in the Philippines is uh, what are they called? Great Toys Online so if you're in the Philippines you can get it there or from multiple other uh, sellers online sellers, retailers uh, That I got it from a different one but they're the local distributor I think there's one other distributor here in the Philippines but let's go ahead and open up the box I really do like the box especially this pattern that they've got going around and then this photo is really nice. So I always open up from the bottom. Let's get a, my scalpel inside. Did that open? It did. Nice. And then let's pull this open from the bottom. Try to put equal amount of pressure on both sides so not to ruin the, the cardboard. And it should come, there we go. So I open from the bottom so that you can still display it back in box and it will look like it's sealed. We've got the we have the paper. It shows you everything that comes inside. I think it's in English on one side and then Japanese on the other. So you can see you've got Goblin, Nendoroid, Nendoroid Goblin Slayer, Hero Edition. I'm not a big fan of the Hero Editions. I like changing all the different arm pieces and everything that's one of the biggest things that appeal to me in Nendoroids, but at least you can still change the hand on the Hero Editions. It's everything. Oh, and this is how to put the LED in right here, I believe. Or well, at least how to change, yeah, probably how to put the LED in. We'll look at that in a bit. Let's just put that on the floor. Let's get the blister out. And the back of the box is red, the dark red. So let's look at the blister. Nice. Let me get it in focus if I can. There we go. Very nice. Simple. Just the one blister. And then at the back underneath we have the extra parts. Now I do prefer if there's a lot of extra parts for it to be a second blister. Or clamshell, whatever you want to call these. Is there any extra parts? No, it's just the neck. Yeah, the extra neck piece is black. It's a bigger base than normal. Ah, because the Goblin Slayer and the Goblin have to go on it. And in the, the stand. I can open that up. Very quickly. Oh, there's also a Goblin stand. Stand for the Goblin. I'll show that in a second. Yeah. Stand for the Goblin. It's just a generic. Uh, good smile, Nendoroid piece for the smaller ones, then we got the 
over this basic stand and then base um, extra neck piece it's not actually black it's a uh, it's like a really really dark grey I don't know if you can see it it look, probably might look black on camera it is very dark but it's it's not jet black and let's come back out okay so yeah we have this base with for the goblin, let's see where's the, the writing card, let's have a look at the writing so let's zoom in, you will be able to see this better than what I will um, so I have no idea what this says, don't read Japanese yet I know that's Ku uh, Mo I think, Ku Mo I, I really need to <laughs> learn, anyway it, that, that's it, it says Goblin Slayer somewhere in there doesn't have a year on it, which is a shame. I like it when you put the year on. The goblin, we could probably stick the goblin at the front. Let's put that there like that. And zoom out so you can see. Put the base here. Goblin slate. I always like to put it in the back in the middle. But because it's so much bigger, there's a, I think there's an extra row. And it's not in the middle. That's a shame. But let's move that to the side and let's open up this blister and let's see. There's no tape, which is good. Open that up. And yep, something always falls out. And in this instance, it's the torch. It's actually really nice. It's a clear plastic and they've, I think they've sprayed the bottom, but the top going down goes from red to orange. It's done really nice and then a uh, black handle has just been stuck inside and then every, mostly everything else has been taped in we got the club with the goblin splatter let's zo we'll zoom in later we'll look at it later let's take out the goblin he fell out he's in his own little bit of plastic which is nice because that keeps him if you from rattling around in the blister and maybe damaging the paint so he's we'll look in more detail later yes I don't think he has any extra pieces, but that's quite cool. It's very nice, ugly, awesome. This, let's take out Goblin Slayer and then we'll look at the last few pieces. So he's in a complete bag. That's new. Never seen that before in his own little bag. That's why he's quite hard to see inside through the, the window, the clear window. Is this just... Yeah, okay. So we've got to take off the... the is it feathers? rag fabric I'm not 100% sure to get that out and that goes back in it's just let me zoom in for this it's just a, a peg that's it no ball joint just a peg slides in and out easy peasy let's go up, zoom out again nice and easy and we got a bit about the neck plastic you have to take his head off to get that off again it's just a hole no extra slit so it can slide out and then there's the neck joint, which actually pops in and out quite easy. And his head is like this, it's quite different. But then again, it's not the normal type of head, is it? He's nice, 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 nice. Let's put him on the base for now, quickly. And then we'll look at the rest of the parts. So we have last, not last, we have the sword at the top, the last one at the top, and that's taped in. And then so it just falls out quite easy to put the tape back up. It's a nice sword. We can look at that in a moment. And then the last part is the, the hand. The free hands and I guess an accessory for the for the arm. Oh, it's an extra arm joint. Oh that's cool. That is a bit cool. Let's we'll take the hands out. So there's three extra hands. Let's just fall out of my hand and that's it for the blister that's everything that comes inside and that's upside down typical put that out the way let's bring the goblin slayer in let's move my camera down so we can get a better look um maybe i should i'll zoom in it i think zooming in is the better idea we'll refocus 
and we can start putting everything together. Where am I going to put this goblin? So he's going to come. We're going to have him back here, further back, I think. Let's let's get the joint up straight. This is my problem with the, the bases. It can be quite difficult to get them in. Um, hmm. I don't know. I don't think I want this here. I think because I'm trying to get it ready so I can display it. Oh, that, that is tight, and that is good. If it's tight, it's good. Let's put to so the goblin. He has a hole in the back, and then the little ball goes on up top. The oh, it's tight. It's hard to get in, which is good. Unlike my Cosmo and didn't want to go in at all. It was the the ball. I think the ball's this size and the hole is not that size. It's so much smaller. There you go. So it's kind of in. And I think that's how I'm going to have him in the base like that. Maybe. So that he can come forward a bit. So I can put that back. Yeah. I can put it in the third hole back. And then he will be... Uh, I can have him slightly more forward than Goblin Slayer. Right there. Nice. That is quite cool. So, yeah, I like that. I don't, I wish I had the LED. So we're going to go through all of the parts. Uh, we'll go through the, I think, is it the Goblin that has the club? Because we got the, we have three accessories. We've got the club. Um, let me focus on my fingers. we got the club. Uh, we got the sword, obviously the sword goes to Goblin Slayer, and then the torch, which is also for Goblin Slayer. Let me see, I'm pretty sure they all fit in the Goblin's hand. They're all the, the same size. Let me look in the box. See, the Goblin has the club. Yeah, the Goblin has the club. And on the box he has it in his hand here. Just slides in, it is tight. Oh, there we go. Nice, and then Goblin Slayer has... Oh, I'd have to change hands. We'll do that in a minute. We'll have this in this hand and then the sword in the other. So why don't we go ahead and have a look at all of the parts for Goblin Slayer. Let's put the Goblin at the back. Let's bring him forward. And make sure it's in focus. So this arm is the one that changes. Right? Yeah. So you can have him with the shield or without the shield. So let's take the whole arm off. He probably... He stands up on his own. Nice. So this, oh, it's tight because I've never, never used it before. This is brand new in the box. Oh, it feels a bit rubbery and very tight because of the shield. I am, I think his arm twists at the top. It should do. So I should twist around. Please, oh, there we go. Oh, so then that should come off. Which it does. Nice. And then this, this joint should move enough for me to wiggle it off. It does. There we go. And we can put on this new joint, which is, is just this forearm without the shield. If you look, can we see? Can I get the light on it properly? There we go. So you can see it's just the arm without the shield. And that's all that is there. And then... Get that on, I've got to wiggle it. It is tight. So, tight joints are good. Pain to pose, but good. <laughs> so then we can have it with, put his arm on. Let's see. So, and then he's gonna fall over. Please don't chip. And we could put, let's put his left hand. He has the extra left hand, which has a hole in it. Yeah, let me zoom in so you can see and focus. There we go. There. So that he can have um, the torch in it. Like so. Let's take that out. Let's put that on here. Then the road's so fiddly, so awesome. That should be the tagline. <laughs> so fiddly, so awesome. I do like fiddling with them. I am a very fiddly person, so doing this is it's so much fun. Doing it on camera and trying to get it done as quickly as possible so you can show it off. Not so fun. So we've got to get, get that in there. I should probably put the shield one back on, but let's just... There we go. So you can see it. 
Let's zoom out. Oops, there we go. He stands up, honestly, he stands up on his own really easily. Maybe it's just where I've got the legs, or maybe the center of balance on his head is really good. But that is really nice. I'm, I will, when I display him, I'm going to display him with the shield. And, he has it, and he'll have it. This hat, I will put all the weapons on. So the hat, the closed fist will not be used. And his right hand is also a closed fist. And then the last hand, not is, yeah, sorry, the other right hand is a, it has a hole in it so you can put the sword in. And then this last hand is, it's a pointy finger. So let's put the pointy finger on. I'm just gonna put it down. Oh, it's tight. It's been a, a little while since I saw the show, so I don't know what the pointy finger would be for. Let's get him standing. There we go. I haven't even adjusted his feet, honestly. But yeah, pointy finger. Let's zoom in. I'm doing it with my right hand. I'm not used to doing it with my right hand. So, pointy finger. And then let's turn him around and get the light on it. With three close fingers, but the top finger is, or the middle finger is, uh, protruding slightly. It's like it's a bit more. He's like like that kind of, but his middle finger is longer than mine. <laughs> so he's like that, like this. It's quite cool. Obviously, like I said, uh, although I'm not a fan of the the hero pose, he can move his arms, joints. They're very stiff right now. I would have to loosen that up. That's not a problem, though. It is quite cool. You can pose on like that. But I will be putting the sword on, which I'll do right now, actually. I do like that hand. If I could use that with other Nendoroids quite easily. That any Anyone that has, like, a black gloved hand or anything. His neck is loose. I'll give you that. I, I only took it off once, and it's just flopping around. Look at that. Ooh, just, ooh. Yeah, so I mean, just his feet. Yeah, that head is really loose actually I might have to do something about that um I would probably try the other joint although for what I know these other joints are meant to be used with the older endoroids you know the ones pre 300 so yeah he does look quite cool I obviously have to do better pose with his hand this arm is quite loose as well it could just be my one but his, his legs seem fine his middle body looks okay so we'll go over that in a second. That does look good. That looks quite cool with the LED in. That would look amazing. Let's see. So it said to take the head off. Let's take the neck joint off. It's really loose. So if you were to put the LED in, I believe... Yep, it just pops off. Easy peasy. And then the LED goes in here. You can see. You can see the, the, the light comes to the back. You can see where my finger's tapping it. So that's where the LED goes. It's a nice design. Oh, the front comes off. Yeah, the front comes off. That was an accident. They didn't mean to do that. But that does make it easier to stick the LED in. So let's look at that. So you can see where my finger on the red. Yeah, you can see where my finger goes. Goes in quite easily. And then this is the inside of his face. Let me make sure it's in focus. I do apologize if none of this has been in focus. So it looks like this. So you could, I don't know, if you had a 3D printer, print more parts or whatever. Obviously, you could get the, the, the LED light. With this being already red, you could use a white light and it would still shine through red. It goes back to, together quite easily as well. Or you could use a red light. Uh, I think it depends on how intense, it depends on how bright the LED is for one. If it's just a, a, a very low lit LED, a white light would be fine. It wouldn't, it would still come up red. No problem. Or you use a red LED to make it more red. Also, the brightness would depend. Let's get this back on. His neck is really loose. There we go. Yeah, it just, woo, it's really wobbly, as in, yeah, yep, just wobble. It's the back of it is a bit heavy, but standing him up, really easy. 
So let's have a closer look at his body. Does the top come off? The top? It wobble. Ah, okay. So probably does come off. There's a ball joint in his chest. Let's see. So you can see right in this chest here on his belly. Ball joint. Moves side to side, up and down. His waist, I can't seem to get it to move. It might move. It does look like it should move. But it's quite tight. And I don't want to break him. So I'm just going to leave him. He has pockets. He has three, four pouches. One on the back, big one. His leg joints, little leg joints. Um, yeah, so this... Oh, let me stand them forward and rotate the head around. So, his legs come out sideways. And then they go forward and backwards. Not much movement. I uh, think, yeah, the, his, the back part gets in the way a little. So, you don't have much movement. And then... Oh, his foot came off. It's a ball joint. Uh, let me get... Oh, his other foot came off. Just give me one second. Okay, so I popped his little feet back on. I also did something else, and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what that is in a minute. His feet are cool. The balls don't really move too much. It's for minor movement. They they will rotate all the way around, but the up and backwards movement, it's not much. See, then they come off really easy. It's not so bad. The design is nice. It's plain black with a little bit of uh, silvery gold. It's like an in between silver and gold. Uh, I really like the design of this character. And they have all the details, like in between the leg here. Let me focus on that part. I do apologize. It's really hard <laughs> when you don't have autofocus. The, the, there's the pattern of his um, armor from the outside of his pants and then the color of his pants. And you can see that on both of those legs. It's really done, really the highly detailed. Even his belt here is a oh, chain mail, it might look like just pops through underneath. So. Yeah, it's highly detailed. We can look at the skull now, because the, the, not the skull, but the, his his head. Uh, let me stand him up. He should stand up properly. All right, let me move his head back. There we go. So he does stand up really easy. Let me lift this up so we can do this. So I changed the neck joints over. Um, yeah, this one was very loose, and now I knock him over it's not as it's still loose it's not as loose honestly so i have a feeling when during the manufacturing process when they were boxing it all up they swapped their heads around i think this one is meant to this one is meant to go in the body of the older nendoroid seems like it's the the bottom piece here is a bit smaller I mean, let me move it's not even in the center it's a bit smaller than his body so it made it really loose. Now it's a bit stiffer, just a little bit, but that joint's definitely stiffer. So it's not as, see, I'm shaking him. It turned a little, but it's not as bad as before. I'm surprised at how easily he stands up. As long as you get the head roughly in the middle, boom, he stands up really easily. So we'll go into greater detail on this. So once again, you can take the feather out. It's really easy, and then you can manipulate that to either side or up which would look weird but if you want to do like more of a wind blowing type of pose you could have it off to the side you got his little i don't know if this is bone or ivory or what at the side we can look at the top you know what i've had a few nendoroids recently where the paint has not been that good on this it's amazing honestly and i think because of the way everything comes apart on his head it the lines work it gives a bit of extra depth to the the design of the the the, the, the shape of this because this front piece comes out and then you got the side pieces here which go around it and it looks like it's been crafted properly like it's a real helmet that has been crafted which is good <laughs> and it really looks amazing honestly let's look at the goblin now let me put him back on his thing hopefully the, the headpiece really isn't <laughs> isn't the best oh goblin arm came off 
that is a really tight ball joint. Um, so yeah, the arm comes off. It's just a single hole, so you can uh, rotate around. It's I guess it's so small if you try to put little tiny nendoroid joints in it. It's the same on the other side. It wouldn't work so well. His legs don't move. His feet just don't move. And does his waist his waist moves on like Goblin Slayer? I'm not sure if it does. I, I'm really too scared to try and move it. I'll end up breaking it if it doesn't do that. And then his head, the goblin's head move and it just rotates. So let's move that out the way. Let's bring him closer and focus in on his little face. He is one ugly little guy, right? He has two little black pupils which are not round the more elongated uh, it's not the same on both sides overall looks fine he has two little pointy ears which are nice I really do like the details he has uh, like five pointy spiky things on his head it's really nice and then oh let's take off the, the waist because I, I already said it was it was a ball right his loincloth comes off. <laughs> his little loincloth comes off. That is cool. That is that is that is really cool. You could use that if you had another Nendoroid that that would fit on. You could technically use the loincloth. Um, both of his hands have holes in. I guess you could. Hang on, sorry, I moved this forward. Both hands have holes in. We could. Uh, put the, the, the bat either way. I do apologize. My focusing is really bad. There we go. The bat either hand. Although this is going sideways, you could put the sword in pointing out this way so like he's backhand and stabbing. But this is. The I'm actually. I actually like the goblin more than the goblin slayer. That's so weird. But let's. Hang on, let's. Does, do you stand on your own? It doesn't, it just falls over. Let's get you back in your ball. Um, we're just going to look at one last thing, and that's the shield. We haven't really looked at the shield. I will be putting the shield back on. But yeah, the design's nice. You've got the straps going around the arm. The shield has the X, has a little chip in the top. I really like the design details on this. It's really really nice. In fact, I'm going to put the shield on his arm. I'm going to put it back on his arm. Let's take the hand off. Get rid of the, the ball fist, which is a bit stiff, but it's fine. Let's get this in here. I do apologize if it's out of focus. Let's get this off. That comes off a lot easier now. Let's push this back in. There we go. And Okay, so now that I loosen that up, I kind of went in easier and we can put him his arm back in there there we go that looks better let me move that back let me put that down let me put it in focus for you guys there we go actually let me zoom out a bit more that really looks cool I, I'm really happy I got this Nendoroid <laughs> just leave him like that it is a really nice Nendoroid not so many accessories, but the details in his body and how his body moves more than make up for it, in my opinion. With the LED, I'm sure it'd look amazing. And if I do get one in Japan, I might add it onto the end of this video if I can do that via YouTube. I believe I can. I'll stick the light in and I'll show you guys. But if not, then I wasn't able to find it. Anyway, I would like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you want to watch some more, subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.